Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy T Fly, leader of the flock. Give me a quick little uh, 2K13 pre draft interviews and the NBA draft. I'm not going to talk much over this because trying to listen to them talk and listen to me talk at the same time can be a bit confusing. So, basically, in a nutshell, the whole thing you play the rookie showcase, you get you know, the interviews with the teams that are interested in you, and depending on your answers, it depends on what team wants you, and depending on your answers, it <laughs> determines what team you don't want to go to. So, I'm not going to talk much, like I said, shout out to Vid Through, shout out to Own 3D, Adrenaline, which is where you'll see this if you watch it on 3D, and that's it. I'm out your ear, enjoy the rest, God bless, and I'm out. Bye-bye. Okay, last question. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? It'd be a real honor to go Lotto, know what I mean? As a player, you worked your entire life for this day. You dream of putting on that hat, walking up to the podium and shaking Mr. Stern's hand. To be recognized as one of the first players drafted, that's a reward I definitely want for all the work I've put towards this. Okay, good stuff. We'll be in touch if we have any other questions. Hello, I'm the general manager for the Portland Trailblazers, and I'd like to thank you for meeting with us. We have a pair of picks in the lottery at the 6th and 11th slots, and would like to ask you a few questions. This question is a tough one to ask, as this really isn't a right or wrong answer. Over the last couple of years, we've had entire seasons washed out by insurmountable injuries. As a franchise, we're becoming more conscious on injury histories and what that means for our draft picks. What can you tell us about your injury history and, more importantly, your ability to play through pain? Fortunately, I've been blessed with good health, man. I think the worst injury I've ever had was a sprained ankle, you know? I picked up some knocks over the years, but it's never held me back in practice or in games. I feel like I'm a safe pick for you guys in that regard. All right then, one more. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. Honestly, I don't think I'll really know till I get there. People always say the game is faster, the players are smarter, stronger. That doesn't really mean much to me until I can see the differences firsthand. You feel me? Okay, I think we were able to get a good read into what you're all about. We'll be in touch. Nice performance tonight. I'm GM and President of Team Operations for the Dallas Mavericks. We are picking 17th in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. All right, let's get to it. Here in Dallas, we have an owner whose goal for this franchise every year is to bring home a title. He's willing to spend a lot of money to make that happen, as he has proven in the past. We bring players in, and if they don't perform, we bring in new players who will. There's a lot of pressure to perform here. Do you think you can handle that kind of pressure? I don't like pressure, but I can take it like I've done my entire life. On the other hand, there's some pretty big name guys down there in Dallas, like Dirk, that take the focus off the other players. This is a class organization and one I definitely want to be a part of, regardless of what may come with that responsibility. Next question. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities, and some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? Easy answer. My parents have spent their entire life putting me into the position I'm in right now. I want nothing more than to take care of them and make sure that the rest of their lives are as carefree as possible. I don't need glitz and glamour. I just need my loved ones cared for. Thanks for your time. This gives us something to take back to the team. We'll see you on draft night.
Good evening and welcome to the 2012 NBA Draft. Tonight represents the culmination of years of hard work for 60 of the world's best young players. It is also a time of optimism for our fans and our teams. It's going to be a great night. I know the young men hoping to hear their names called tonight can't wait to compete against the best basketball players in the world. So let's get started. With the first pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Hornets select Anthony Davis from the University of Kentucky. With the second pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Michael Kidd Gilchrist from the University of Kentucky. With the third pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Bradley Beal from the University of Florida. With the fourth pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Dion Waiters from Syracuse University. With the fifth pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Thomas Robinson from the University of Kansas. With the sixth pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Damian Lillard from Weber State University. With the seventh pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Harrison Barnes from the University of North Carolina. With the eighth pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Terrence Ross from the University of Washington. With the ninth pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Andre Drummond from the University of Connecticut. With the 10th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Hornets select Austin Rivers from Duke University. With the 11th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select the 22-year-old shooting guard from Arkansas State University.